Mike Capuano, Congressman of the 8th District of Massachusetts. I decided to run because I thought I had something to offer for the Commonwealth, a different perspective than most people, uh, a combination of experience uh, combined with uh, real life experience as well, political experience combined with real life experience, uh, that would end up in that I had a pretty good record to show for that, and I thought people would embrace it, uh, and I thought I could win. I mean, my premise was wrong, <laughs> but I also, I, I, I learned what I already knew, that people in Massachusetts are active, involved. Um, that they're good people and that I enjoy meeting them. Well, I think we'll have to revisit it again. I, I, I voted for this bill with hesitations, like most people did. Uh, even people who voted against it, very few people could say that everything stunk or everything was wonderful. I don't think anybody would say that. I hope they wouldn't. Um, but I voted for it with hesitations. This was one of my hesitations. Uh, I, I think that the public option is probably the, the, it's not the best way, but it was the last best way, in my opinion, to um, honestly control costs. The question is always, does it make life better or does it not? Um, not whether it's perfect, not whether it's what you want it, uh, it's whether this particular bill is better than what we have. Uh, in the final analysis, I came to the conclusion that the bill before us was better than what we have. Uh, every issue I can think of, um, you know, young people won't be young forever. Uh, they will have to face whatever problems we create. They will have to deal with any, any uh, issues we, we handle. Uh, we have an economic crisis that will certainly impact them as they try to find jobs, uh, both even, even as young people. If they go out and get summer jobs, uh, they're going to be fewer summer jobs this year than they have been in the last several years because of the economy. Part of this health care bill, um, because of the rules of the Senate, we also attached a significant bill on higher education. Uh, that will help make it better. They did take out some things that I like, but again, uh, same as I said earlier, the bill makes it better uh, for kids to be able to get a college education. So the truth is, we don't do anything um, that young people shouldn't be interested in. I don't know that systemically we can really do too much. I mean, the truth is there's plenty of opportunity to get involved if they want to. Um, you know, and it's, it's like anything else, I mean, we could create more jobs, that would help, but you know, for getting involved in changing the world, there, there's, there's as many, there is no campaign in the world, no nonprofit in the world that wouldn't uh, welcome the opportunity to you know, get somebody engaged who's young and enthusiastic and you know, is willing to dive in and learn. Uh, the, some, one of the problems I see with young people who do get involved is if they get involved in something and it, either they don't win or even if they win, they realize that the world doesn't change immediately. Sometimes things take some time. Um, they'll lose their enthusiasm. They'll figure, oh, it didn't work. Well, the truth is, it does. So I think there's, there's plenty of pathways if somebody wants to, and I do think that they have to take advice from, from older people sometimes, uh, ask if they want to get involved and, and understand that when they get involved, no matter how smart or enthusiastic they are, they may or may not, they're probably not going to be the boss in the, in the room. Um, and, but guess what? Everybody started out at the first rung. I ask people to look in their own hearts at what interests them. Some people are interested in the environment, some people are interested in the economy, some people are interested in education. Uh, and I would never suggest that someone should take up what's of interest to me. Um, they, they really need to find their own interest and push those. Uh, and get involved in them either on an issues basis or on a generic basis. Uh, you know, there, so there's, there's, and there is always always, always something coming up. My expectation is the next thing that will be coming up that will be of great interest to the society as a whole, all economic related, uh, economic regulation. Uh, the states all across the country uh, are getting into their budget cycle now. There's going to be massive cuts across the country. Um, people should be engaged in that debate. And part of the, you know, the easy way to get engaged is to say, this is a program I like, don't cut the program. And that's fine. But I think that anybody who wants to get engaged in the debate also has an obligation to learn what the problems are. The enthusiasm of youth is, is infectious. And I'll tell you that uh, you know, campaigns in the office, any place there is, I mean, in my life, young people, they always get the spot going. And uh, they add great vigor, even if they don't necessarily you know, aim it in the right direction. Um, the enthusiasm helps a lot. And anybody in their right mind wants young people involved with whatever they're doing.